kit. So in this manifestation, this is just how I chose to build this out for my purposes as, a, as an equipment provider. Your own manifestation is gonna be different. You're gonna build that out however you want. For me, we set the forcible entry door just a few feet in, give us the ability to simulate a front porch. We can force the door, go in, again, under live fire conditions. You know, for here, we cut a cut an opening between the two containers and we're able to come in, do a U-turn and, and hit the fire room. Again, this is not the containers. We don't provide the containers. We don't provide a training structure. We provide you commercially made products, high strength products to eliminate 90% of the fabrication and the work that you would need to do on site if you were gonna do it DIY. one of the windows we use it here as a VES window right outside the fire room you also have the ability to frame these in in the ceiling as a vent prop so you get the ability to smash out simulated glass for using drywall you can add the wooden sash in and you'll see we've actually got a way to put in rebar as a way to simulate your window bars for areas of the country that have that All right, so this is the standard fuel package that we're running today. Obviously, end user, you're gonna do that. Uh, however you best determine is what your department needs. For us, we're doing two pallets, a single bale of hay, and an OSB wall on the outside, and an OSB ceiling sheet. This is gonna give us a very predictable fire set. Um, we time that out almost to the second we know what this fire is going to do. And it's important that however you do this as an end user, you train on your fuel packages themselves. The fuel package you need to have figured out to a T before you're actually training firefighters with this. Right, so here we're at the end of the day, we're burning off the rest of our waste here. But you can see the back of the flash river chamber. It's got a cut out here so you can push your trash out. Um, you can see we've got really good fire conditions here. And it, again, the strength that this gives you is vent limited fire conditions. Uh, most of the training towers that you would go out and buy are going to be fuel limited and they're not going to train you to operate in the conditions that you're expected to operate in in the real world.